Do you remember the very first time you met Florence? I do. Uh, it was a little complicated because we had not met, in fact, none of the cast had met before we started filming, but we started filming before Florence Henderson joined the cast because she was filming a, a movie and had not finished her location work. So we filmed around her character for six episodes. Then she wow. came in. When, I, when she came in, you know, we were, I didn't, I had not seen her before and didn't have pictures, but when she came in, I thought, wow, this is more than just a mom. <laughs> she was all done up and looked terrific, and I thought she was uh, um, quite splashy. <laughs> Did she ever share with you her favorite Brady episode? I, try, I, I think, I think the ones that she enjoyed filming the most were those that we shot in Hawaii because it was kind of a travel log and we were all out at the beach and, and working in this great environment. She was very comfortable there. How about, you know, speaking of, of musicals, and I know, you know, Rodgers and Hammerstein were, were taken by her and they made her the leading role in, in Oklahoma once upon a time, and she always talked about how she loved to, to sing. We all know the Brady Bunch theme song, word for word. Did she like it? I think she did. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, you know, she didn't sing it. Right. No, I know. I know. Oh, it's only the Brady Bunch kids that, that actually sang it from the second year on. Yeah. I, I think she did. I think you know, not a lot of people know how important that song was to getting on the air. And uh, because uh, our network felt it was so complicated, the premise, we'd have to spend a half an hour explaining how all those kids got to be living in the same house. And those lyrics are what put the network at ease. He said, I'm going to explain this whole show in the opening credits. With me now, someone who actually got to share a desk with her and some time with her, journalist Jody Applegate. She and Florence Henderson co-hosted later today over on NBC. So nice of you to come through, and I'm so sorry for the loss of your, your friend. And she's like she was everybody's mom, but you actually got to share oxygen and space with her. What was she and like? In a dressing room. In a dressing room. She was maternal. Yeah. And I'm, she that really, might really sound hokey, was. but I lost my own mother when I was very young. And oh. when you're in a TV setting, you know, people are gypsies. They move from all over and yep. you're just work, work, work. But she had the ability to make everyone feel like no matter whether the ages even made sense, like she would have been, she was actually about the right age to be my mother, but she gave us advice on what to wear and what to eat and eat protein in the morning because we were doing a morning show and, you know, don't eat these muffins they're putting on the table. I bring in this rolled turkey in this baggie. Right. I mean, she was like, she every, really was like that. I grew up in an era when I watched her on the Brady Bunch. Maybe it was in syndication by yeah, the time I too. watched it, but... I didn't realize that she had been a star for years before that on Broadway when yeah. she was a teenager. Yeah. And then she was on the Today Show back when they had a Today Girl in the 50s right. who would do the light stories. <laughs> right. um, so she had like several show business lifetimes, if you want to view it that way. And I remember once we were out in Pasadena at this big event where they, when they roll out new TV shows, they invite all the critics and so they have this big to-do. But afterwards, she and I and this other woman we worked with all said, you know what, let's go to the spa. Why so not? We, so we got a little champagne and we're in our towels and we're sitting around at the spa and is off the record and she is telling us stories about Marilyn Monroe and Frank Sinatra because she knew all those people. Get out of here. She was almost like a time traveler in the sense that they were contemporaries of hers mm -hmm. but then at a different point in her career I was kind of sort of I mean obviously not on her level of fame yeah. and everything but I was I was proud to call myself a sure. contemporary of sure. hers so co-hosts so she and she appreciated everything that came her way she would sign every autograph she would stay for hours sign every 8 by 10 glossy answer every fan letter because to her it was a real perfect to be a celebrity it's not like the modern form of celebrity it was like every single fan deserved personal mm. attention do you remember the very first time you met florence i do uh it was a little complicated because we had not met in fact none of the cast had met before we started filming but we started filming before florence henderson joined the cast because she was filming a a, a movie and had not finished her location work so we filmed around her character for six episodes then she wow came in. when i when she came in we, you know we were i didn't i had not seen her before and didn't have pictures but when she came in i thought wow this is more than just a mom <laughs> she was all done up and looked terrific and i thought she was uh, um quite splashy <laughs> did she ever share with you her favorite brady episode i try i, I think 
I think the ones that she enjoyed filming the most were those that we shot in Hawaii because it was kind of a travel log and we were all out at the beach and, and working in this great environment. She was very comfortable there. How about, you know, speaking of, of musicals, and I know, you know, Rodgers and Hammerstein were, were taken by her and they made her the leading role in, in Oklahoma once upon a time, and she always talked about how she loved to, to sing. We all know the Brady Bunch theme song, word for word. Did she like it? I think she did. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, you know, she didn't sing it. Right. No, I know. I know. Oh, it's only the Brady Bunch kids that, that actually sang it from the second year on. Yeah. Uh, I think she did. I think. You know, not a lot of people know how important that song was to getting on the air. And uh, because uh, our network felt it was so complicated, the premise, we'd have to spend a half an hour explaining how all those kids got to be living in the same house. And those lyrics are what put the network at ease. He said, I'm going to explain this whole show in the opening credits.